am Hirad Bhatia and as a part of brightstudy.in's 1001 ideas, I'm going to show you a super easy and quick way to achieve a braided up. So before I start my updo, I'm going to prep my hair by adding a little bit of serum and brushing my hair out so that the hair is smooth when I'm braiding my hair. Just a drop of serum. Our next step is to roughly divide the hair into two parts. And then further divide these sections into two more sections. So I'm further dividing this. So I'm done with the back and I've isolated it out. Now time for the front. So I'm going to leave my fringe. This is optional. If you don't have a fringe, you can just leave a couple of strands in the front just to add some softness in the front. If I want, I can always pull it out in the end. And this is my natural parting. So I'm not going to try and oppose it. I'm going to let it just be. This is how my fringe falls. However, this parting I'm going to clear. So my fringe, I'm going to let it be natural. I am going to just with a clean party. So I'm going to do a French braid and just keep adding sections from one side into three sections. Now the side section goes over the center section and becomes the center section. Again, the side section goes over the center section and becomes the center section. Now this is a regular braid. In a French braid, you just keep adding sections from the outside. My fringe I'm going to let it out. Let it be. Now I'm taking sections only from the front and I won't be taking sections from the back. And also you have to be mindful of the direction of your braid. Don't create your braid like this. Try and create your braid like that because in the end you're going to make it up two out of it. So you have to make sure that the direction of your braid is already planned. Your hand position will change if you want your the position of your braid to change. If you were making a braid here, your hand would be here. If you were making a braid in the back, hand position should also change. That's a very tiny section. I'm just doing gently back from there. So my one side is complete. I tie to the other side. Now time to make a fourth braid. So again, divide this into three parts. The side section becomes center. Keep adding sections and being mindful of the angle. And when I'm finishing my braid, I am going at the back slightly. So now there, I'm done with my four braids. Two in the front and two at the back. So now, time for us to slightly open the braid out. Just pull the sides. Literally just pinching a couple of sections. You don't hold the entire section. Now, happy with the back. Now, time for the front. If you are somebody who like slightly sleeker updos, don't open these too much. We are just going to place it nicely like this. However, I like a little softness around, so I'm just going to these front sections, pull the braid and just slightly pull the front sections out. Now, once I'm done with the front, now the back sections, pull it out like this. Once I'm done loosening out the braid, then I'm happy with it. Just gently braid out. Also, one more tip here, if you are somebody who has a weak hairline like mine, so I'm just going to fill it in, taking an eyebrow filler and with a brush, just fill it in. So now I'm happy with the base. Needless to say, if you have shorter hair, you will have to use a stuffing or a donut like this at the back and then you can place your braids over it. So, now I'm done with one side. Once I'm done placing it, now I'm going to slightly more loose it up. Now time for the other side. So now this braid goes over the other braid in a crisscross manner. So there, I'm done with my up two. If there are any uh, flyaways or if your parting is showing too much or anything, you can just take an invisible pin. So there's this flyaway that I see. I'm just going to pinch it and make it stay. If you're going for a wedding, you can just place a flower here or maybe on top of your upbringing like that, like tiny baby's breath. And uh, you're done. So that was my braided upbringing. Super quick and easy, wasn't it? So I hope you liked it, guys. Please try it out and just 
yourself and uh, thanks for watching